In 1991, rumors began to spread throughout the schoolyards of Chicago. On the south, west, and north sides, young people spat tales of an escaped convict rolling through the neighborhoods in a white van and asking children if they would like a ride. The kids that would accept this offer, well, they were certainly never seen again. Oh, and one more thing. This murderous man was dressed up, they said, as a clown. Clowns weren't always such objects of fear, and you don't have to look too far from the Chicago schoolyard to understand what changed. In this warehouse behind me lies evidence and personal belongings of the victims of John Wayne Gacy, the serial killer whose six-year reign in the city of Chicago claimed the lives of 33 young men. By 1991, Gacy was still on death row awaiting his execution. But Chicagoans hadn't forgotten the terror he inflicted in the 70s. They certainly hadn't forgotten his alter ego, Pogo the Clown, whom they had invited into their homes to entertain their children time and time again. He forever changed the way we view these red-nosed funnymen. You know, clowns get away with murder. John Wayne Gacy said that. <laughs>